But what if I told you I had a better idea? Hi everyone, let's talk about The Vampire Diaries Season 8, Episode 12, What Are You? First, a quick thought. I really enjoyed the moment between Matt and Bonnie when he tells her at the end that he thinks he knows where her strength comes from and also that their families go way back. I thought it was an awe moment. Oh. Moving on to trying to bring back Enzo. To be honest, this whole episode, all I could think about is, yes, but is Enzo coming back? But is Enzo coming back? So there's all these other things happening, but all I can think about is, please tell me Enzo is not really dead. And then they burnt his body, so I'm like... He'd still come back, right? Sure. Totally, totally. Just put him back together, right? Fire doesn't kill vampires, does it? I know that we will see Enzo again, but now I'm thinking it might be like in a vision or in the afterlife or something like that. I, I don't know. It's just not really looking good for Enzo. And, and that's all I could really think about this whole episode, which I'm really sad about. I do think that I'm still a little bit in denial that he's really gone. I mean, there's part of me that still thinks we can we can bring him back. Moving on to Stefan, who is officially a human now and has his humanity back. It sucks in quite a few ways because now he can't really compel anybody, so he gets arrested and he can't heal by drinking vampire's blood because he has a cure in him. Um, the good news is they're free from Cade. Bad news is you're going to hell when your life is over, so great. And on top of everything, he gets kidnapped by someone at the end that we don't really know who it is. It's not really a good day for Stefan in this episode. Moving on to killing Cade, or the plan to kill Cade. As I suspected last episode, that coding thingy is how Ethan Maxwell hid how to kill Cade in his journal. Unfortunately, Damon gave the journal to Cade and Cade burnt it. I gotta say, I got a little annoyed at Damon because he knew that that's where the information was to kill Cade, but he still gave it to him anyway. And then he's like, but look, this object is how you kill him. I'm like, great, but you know, maybe the book explained how to use the object. Maybe you have to like stab him in a certain way or maybe you have to do something. I'm just saying, you know, just having the weapon doesn't mean that you know how to use it. Now, the biggest surprise, at least for me, was Kai's return. And I had heard some people mention that he might be coming back, but I guess I didn't expect him to be back in this episode. And he's just like, ta-da, I'm here, remember me? He appears and apparently seems to have a better plan than just killing Cade or I don't know. Kai can't really trust him ever. So who knows what his plan is? The title of the episode, What Are You?, is a line that Elena says to Stefan in season one, episode five, you're undead to me. Now, of course, I would love to hear what you thought of this episode. Were you as distracted by Enzo's death as I was? Let me know in the comments. For fans of Supergirl though, I have to admit that when Kai came in, usually before he was on Supergirl as Monel, I didn't really like Kai as a character. Like, you know, when you saw him, you're like, oh, Kai. But this time when I saw Kai, I was like, oh, Kai. And then I thought, why do I like this character all of a sudden? And I'm like, oh, cause he's Monel in Supergirl and I like Monel. So now it's kind of blending together and I like Kai. <sighs> confusing when they're on like multiple shows. But anyway, just, you know, weird things that happen in my brain when I watch shows. 